I also had an amazing mentor when I was a kid, a gentleman named Joe Amos. He was my football coach, and that was for me 100 pounds ago, which is a whole other conversation. But he taught me one of the most valuable lessons that he didn't realize at the time. He told me, always keep your feet shoulder width apart. This is where your balance, this is where your strength, this is where your agility, this is where your ability to withstand a shot comes from. Feet are too narrow, you're gonna get knocked down. You're gonna get knocked flat on your backside. Your feet are too wide, you've got a good base, you're strong, but you're not agile. You're not quick, you're not gonna be able to, you're gonna have to take one step to get back to middle and then make a move. You're slow. How many times have we been vulnerable because we've been moving too fast? and we've been knocked flat because we've not taken care of ourselves. That vulnerability becomes damaging. Or we've played it safe, we've closed up, we've gotten our, our feet too wide, and we're not able to move and be agile. That is where we're not able to move with what's happening, and we're always a step or two behind. By retraining your triggers, and they could be, they're gonna be personal to all of you, they're gonna be subjective to all of you, but by retraining those triggers, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. Because what I will say is this, this industry on the whole, and y'all are a huge catalyst to this, has had our feet shoulder width apart. It doesn't seem like that. We've not been knocked down. We've been knocked off our base a little bit. We've stumbled to the side, but we're still here. And we're stronger than we've ever been because we have a foundation shoulder width apart, emotionally, mentally. And this is where we make the change for the future. 